Okay, so last video we did all the utilitarian types of light sources that we use kind of in everyday life. Today we're going, to talk, we're going to talk about the interesting types of light sources, or what I think are interesting. Uh, so the first one is phosphorescent sources. Phosphorescence is the persistent emission of light following the exposure to and removal of a source of radiation. That's a lot of fancy words for what they mean is you shine a light on something, and then it shines light back out. That's just glow in the dark. Okay, That's kind of what they're talking about. So light energy is absorbed by certain particles in these substances that the, when those particles uh, kind of drop down an energy level, they're really, they, they create light energy that's really slowly over time. So both UV and visible light can be used to charge different phosphorescent sources. And not all materials are, are phosphorescent. You don't go into the sun and then when you come inside, you glow for a little bit, although that would be cool. Uh, and there are animals that have been spliced to be phosphorescent, or like to be luminescent like that, uh, like pigs' noses and stuff glow under certain lights. Uh, you can look that up if you want. Uh, phosphorescent sources, this is very similar to fluorescence. This idea is very similar to a fluorescent light. Uh, the main difference is that phosphorescent sources release their energy over a long period of time, whereas fluorescent happens very quickly. Although you guys have probably noticed this if you walk into a, a room with fluorescent lights in your home, if you have one, and you turn the light on, fluorescent lights aren't at their brightest until a little bit. They come almost like uh, warm up and become brighter. So examples for this is any glow-in-the-dark material on toys or watches. You might not see them so often on watches anymore because a lot of watches have uh, LEDs or something like that in them. Uh, chemiluminescent sources, big word. Uh, chemiluminescence is the process in which a chemical reaction releases light. So glow sticks are probably the best example for this. Uh, and it takes chemical energy and it turns it into visible light energy. This can produce a lot of light, uh, but these, since the light is based on a chemical reaction, the chemical reaction, when it stops, because it will, uh, it, the light goes away. So glow sticks are a really good example of one that the chemical reaction is quite slow and it lasts a long time. However, those burn out, right? And they kind of fade slowly, but they fade over time. And this example here, this really, really bright light uh, is burning magnesium. This is a demo I was going to do. And hopefully if we get back to school, I will still do it. Um, basically, if you take a strip of magnesium and heat it to a point, a chemical reaction starts and it is unbelievably bright but it burns out in like a second uh, so really cool example of how chemiluminescent sources can provide tons of light but they're not necessarily the easiest thing to create light that's very useful for us and this is the last kind of weird type of light source and this is my favorite one uh, the bioluminescent sources are chemical reactions they're a type of chemiluminescence, but they occur within a living organism, and it gives off light. Often this is the cause of bioluminescent bacteria. Uh, so things like the anglerfish, they might have a light here, but that part of their body has bacteria in it that are giving light off. Uh, and there's many functions to this. There's a lot of reasons that animals are bioluminescent. Sometimes they attract prey. Sometimes it's to attract mates. Uh, sometimes it's defense, sometimes it's communication. There's probably a bunch more reasons that I don't even know about. Uh, some really good examples are fireflies. Some cave fungi are bioluminescent, uh, which is interesting because they're not quite uh, animals. Uh, and this is, I think, the coolest example of a bioluminescent thing. These are glowing beaches. You guys should check these out. Check out some videos. Uh, I couldn't get a, a GIF on here very well, so... I highly suggest just checking a video, search like glowing beaches or bioluminescent beaches. Uh, these are all bacteria that are giving off this like blue glow. And when they often give it off as a defense mechanism, so when people walk through or run through or they're agitated, they glow more brightly. And it's basically like swimming around in like glow stick juice. It's super cool. Uh, so check that out. Uh, and that's it for today. Short video, I know. And I'll let you guys work on the, your project for the uh, rest of today and tomorrow. Cheers.